another important definition is that of a service is as per section 2 within bracket 35 service or services has an inclusive definition it includes activities as defined in the first schedule to the SST Act and uh, chapter 98 of the Pakistan Customs Act main charging section is dependent upon this definition and thereafter it has been explained that it will be applicable uh, to those services which have been specified in the second schedule are these codes uh, killing you and me uh, first we saw federal VAT act we saw its two three drafts a houseful seminar was the here whereby uh, I spoke on VAT a lot of time spent on study but it never came hot debates everywhere but it never came but that's a good thing that uh, we are talking since CSX at a stage where it has been implemented and already on floor but the issue is this uh, are these codes whenever comes killing us or not I hope it will not be killing you and me and we are here uh, to accept the challenge and implement that now we talk about the taxable services taxable services is a service listed in the, uh, listed in the second schedule by registered person from his registered office or place of business in Sindh B in the course of economic activity including commencement and termination of activity above is applicable whether the services are provided or rendered by uh, whether resident or non-resident and the liability to discharge this amount uh, this um, uh, this uh, uh, service is that of a registered person who's whosoever is registered most likely resident is supposed to discharge the tax liability another part of taxable services uh, section is a person a service that is not provided by a registered person will be treated as taxable if services is in the second schedule and is provided to a registered person by a non-resident in the course of an economic activity including in the commencement or termination of activity where a person has a, re a registered office or a place of business in sin and another outside sin the registered office or a place of business in sin and that outside sin will be treated as a separate legal person this is unusual uh, in a normal law resident and non-resident uh, resident is the one who is in Pakistan and non-resident is the one who is practically outside Pakistan or a period of its period is outside Pakistan most of the period is outside Pakistan but over here any person who is outside sin is also called non-resident except for in certain circumstances he may be a resident example of this may be a franchise service practically ke bahar se agar koi royalty aap bahar wale ko royalty pay kar rahe hain to he will be non-resident ya first ke liye islamabad capital territory mein uske registered office hai ya situation hai aur yahan franchisee baitha hua hai franchisor wo hai bahar wala islamabad wala to us surat mein bhi jo hai wo taxable ho jayega yahan par sin mein jo pay hi hoga wo liability discharge karega rather the payer hoga liability discharge karega another important definition is uh, definition uh, as well as uh, important section is the economic activity economic activity means any activity carried on continuously or regularly as underlined it is very important that continuously or regularly that involve or is intended to involve services to another person and include an activity carried on in the form of business including a profession calling trade or undertaking of any kind whether or not the activity is undertaken for profit whether it is for profit or not the supply in uh, of movable property by way of a lease license or similar arrangements a one of adventure or concern in the nature of trade a trade is important although one of another part of economic activity is that it also include anything done or undertaken 
during commencement or termination of an economic activity. In rare circumstances, it will appear, but it is there uh, that uh, there should be a, there may be a commencement or termination in certain cases so far as the services are concerned. There are exclusions as well because uh, otherwise everything, a lot of things will be involved. Uh, considering this, a specific exclusion has been given in section 4 within bracket 3. A, services uh, by employee for an employer. Maybe a lot of people are sitting over here. They are providing services to their employer that are not covered. Private recreational pursuit or hobby of an individual. C, activity of a person other than an individual which is essentially carried on as a private recreational pursuit or hobby of a member otherwise or associate owner or associate of a person. D, activity carried on without a reasonable expectation of profit by an individual or an association of person, all the members of which are individuals. These are the exclusions. And uh, so far as the first schedule is concerned, you may refer quickly through your notes because uh, it is not very important for our discussion and it's uh, self-explanatory, so you may quickly go through a few slides so far as the first schedule is concerned. These are basically uh, from chapter 98 of the custom tariff. So I am leaving that. Now on page 26. This is basically uh, gist of the presentation as well as uh, except for uh, the second schedule which will be, will be covering later on. A scope of tax and rates. It is a levy on services provided, rendered, initiated, uh, received or consumed in the province of Sindh. If you did something or you received something that may be within that scope, if it is in, uh, uh, the services is received in Sindh or uh, the receiver of that services in Sindh, ap applicable to services listed in the second schedule, the general rate is 16% except telecom services and franchise which are subject to tax at 19.5% and 10% respectively. In the case of freight forward, freight forwarders are required to charge sales tax at rupees 400 per house bill of lading as opposed to rupees uh, 200 as per FED. In the FED it was 200 per house of building but over here it has been increased after a hot debate with the um, Pakistan Institute of Freight Forward, uh, Pakistan uh, Freight Forwarders Association. It has been doubled to rupees 400 uh, per house bill of lading. And other things are there as well which we'll be covering in the second schedule. Now the main schedule which is basically uh, the second schedule. The first one is the telecommunication services. There is a big list uh, in the uh, Sales Tax Act. You may go through that. I have not covered over here because there is a long list. It was unnecessary to cover in your material, but I hope uh, you all would have Sales Tax Act and Sales Tax rules. You may go through that. Uh, and there is a specific rule as well in the income tax, uh, in the sales tax rules, which is rule 35, in which there is a detailed discussion, um, but in this uh, short span of 50 minutes, it will not be possible for me to cover the whole rules uh, uh, so far as the special procedures are concerned. Accordingly, if you wish to refer that, the rule is uh, rule 35. The second one is the, uh, the services provided or rendered by hotels, restaurants, marriage halls, lawns, clubs, and caterers. It was in the, previously in the Sindh sales tax ordinance, but over there as well, there was no taxability so far as the restaurant, marriage halls, and lawns are concerned. This is the new, uh, these three items are new, uh, which have been brought within the tax ambit. Advertisement services, uh, it was partly in the excise, uh, excise law and partly in the Sindh sales tax ordinance. And uh, uh, rules brought in from there 